Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Sit down, grab a box of tissues, and get ready for the end of Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, but everyone. But nobody's dead right now. That doesn't mean it's not going to be emotional. Nobody died in Toy oh, Story no. 3, but everyone cried during that. Oh, yeah, I thought someone did die in Toy Story 3. Who was it? No, the, 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 oh, no, wait, that was the actor. Um, <laughs> I was like, the clown, he's dead. But <laughs> he he's has a name, dead. Marty. And I know, Chuckles. Chuck yeah, Chuckles. Chuckles, yeah. Anyhow, you still might want the box of tissues, because this is an emotional end. I to don't an emotional have a case. box of tissues. Too bad, Marty. You're going to ugly no! cry. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't know. If something gets really bad, I'll just get up and like start jumping around. <laughs> Anyhow, we're on the final part of Bridge to the Turnabout. If this great. case isn't your favorite yet, it probably okay. will be now. Why? Do people like emotional oh, things? Oh, wow. I forgot. Uh, it's this is... really loud. I don't remember why I made it really loud. Bugs Life? Oh, that's right. Um, <laughs> recording with Link. Oh, okay. Uh, the randomizer. February 10th, 3.36 p.m., District <laughs> Court, courtroom number seven. I thought we were courtroom number one! We were, and then we went to seven. Because recess. Because of Lucky. Yeah, maybe. Now then, before we proceed any further, I'm going to announce the results of the tests we had performed earlier. Wait, what did we perform? Tests? Yes, oh. tests! On the bloody dagger that was found stuck in the pine tree. Oh yeah! That! I totally forgot about it. So did I. That's the weapon that Maya Fey used when she fought with the victim. Here's the thing. Either way, even if she's the actual, like, killer, she'll only be in jail in this game for, like, a couple years, I think. Mm -hmm. So, what are the results? Was it the victim's blood, or... Due to time constraints, a full test wasn't possible. However, there's one thing we can say with certainty. The blood that was on this dagger was not the victim's blood. Okay. That is all. Now then, let's restart this trial. Cool. So it wasn't Misty's blood on the dagger. Then whose was it? It was the blood of Iris's tears in hell. <laughs> Dahlia's. <laughs> Iris is the nice twin. Iris's evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> dagger updated. In you, you know why the I said Iris? Because ten because now she looks like Iris. Until she was, like, exercised and, like, had red hair. Yeah. So Dahlia, I guess, has naturally red hair. Maybe I Iris dyes it? Naturally curly hair. Maybe Iris dyes it? Hers? I don't think so. Nah. I feel like the nuns wouldn't dye it, so I guess they just have different hair colors. I'm sure both the defense and the prosecution know this, but this trial is rapidly coming to a close. Indeed, which but is why we need so much time, according to Artie. Artie was like, when we were doing the schedule, I was like, yeah, I have, like, an hour for you. He's like, no, we no, need that's two hours. At least, yeah. Remember, credits. Credits. Both sides will need to show some firm evidence with their claims. Oh, we are so firm. It'll be great. Yup. Choose your words better next time. <laughs> we, we have such a firm case. That's better. I understand, Your Honor. From what I've heard, the witness is dangerously weak, physically speaking. So let's finish this quickly. Bring Maya in a wheelchair. Agreed. Very well. Please bring in the last witness. He looks sad. Witness, please tell us your name and profession. Maya Fey. My profession is, um... I'm the assistant manager at Wright & Company Law Offices. Maya. According to the magazine I have here, you're a spirit medium of the Crane Channeling Technique. I... I'm frightened. The Fey Clan. I don't want any more to do with it. Oh, Maya. The pain of the Fey bloodline must be unbearable. Very well. Now then, Miss Fey, when the event occurred, you were in the Garden of the Inner, t inner Temple. And... You witnessed the moment of Miss Elise Donham's murder. Is this correct? I, um, I... I didn't Objection. see any... Straighten up this moment, young lady. Uh-huh! Pick your head up and speak clearly. There's always time for crying later. But, but I... Your mother was killed right in front of your eyes. There's nothing you can do to change that fact. But there's something you can do. You can finish this. You've been watching the whole thing, right? 
You've seen the witnesses come out and you've seen us squeeze the truth out of them. Now it's your turn. Let's hear your testimony. On the night of the crime, what exactly did you see happen? Poor Maya. Remember what Mia said last time, though. Maya's stronger than you think. She so is, she but needs. Still. She basically she needs that push. Essentially. She does. Yeah. Witness, if you please. Yes, Your Honor. Witness testimony at the Inner Temple. It's kind of cool how Maya's like the last witness. Sure. I was passing through the garden on my way to, uh, to a spare prep room when it happened. Suddenly, someone struck me over the head! I stumbled and ended up against the stone lantern. I think I screamed, HELP ME! Then something warm splashed over me. That's when I lost consciousness. So she was up against the stone lantern? Apparently. Hmm, so you were struck on the head. I suppose it must have been this staff. Maya! The person who hit you! It was Dahlia Hawthorne, wasn't it? I... I'm sorry, Nick. I just couldn't see. I don't know who it was. Maya, think hard. Sorry, Nick, but I really couldn't! Ha! Can't say it was an especially good night for young ladies to be walking around alone. It seems that it will be hard to determine the criminal through testimony alone. Very well then, Mr. Wright. Please begin your cross-examination. With pleasure. Maya, hang in there. She doesn't look well at all. Well, the doctor said she was fine. Yeah, that doesn't mean, like, perfect work and health, though. No. Passing through the garden on the way to a prep room. Who else was on the Inner Temple side that night? Well, Sister Bikini, of course. But I remember her saying that Iris would be coming later as well. On the day after the incident, Edgeworth met Bikini at Hasakura Temple. That means she couldn't be the criminal. So then, did Iris actually come later, like she said? Well, um, let me think. She seems confused. It's probably because she's so tired. No, I'm sure I didn't see her. She must have come while I was still preparing for the training. I almost said the trial, <laughs> the and then trial. I stopped myself. <laughs> <laughs> she was learning law on the side. Yeah, it happens. Who did it? Who hit you? Uh, well, I didn't see who it was. I was hit from behind. You didn't see the person? Wait, how would you be hit from behind if she's against the stone? It was lantern. after. Oh, it was after that. Okay. But after that, your attacker was in front of you. How could you not see who it was? Oh! Let me think for a sec. I'm sorry. I just can't remember. Maya's really having a hard time. What should I do? I mean, this may be the only time that I'd be like, maybe don't press harder? Because literally all we're doing, she's like, Ugh, I don't know. What are we doing? Considering the conditions of the crime scene, it's not surprising she didn't see her. Yeah, her. yeah, there was the dark light. Ha. <laughs> so it looks like even you've got some compassion. Judging by the testimony thus far, the identity of the attacker was most likely the spirit that was channeled by Elise Donham, Dahlia Hawthorne. Hmm. Very well, please continue with your testimony. What happened after you were struck on the head? Here's what I don't understand. Why did Elise Donham channel Dahlia? Because yeah, there would literally question. be no point unless if she was going along with this plan, in which case, why the heck is she trying to kill her own daughter? Like, yeah, there's literally there's something no, funny going on here. There's something fishy going on here. <laughs> and it's not a fish. No, it may be a fish. Come on, Maya, this isn't making sense. Sleeping with the fishes. Why didn't you see this person? Um, well, let me think. It was, um... Oh, yeah, that's right! It was dark, that's it! It was dark? It's not good to have too much light around when someone's go undergoing spiritual training. Hmm. Come to think of it, there was earlier testimony to that effect as well. So it was dark in the garden on the night of the crime. Which is why she didn't see her attacker. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe she was trying to hide something, but I guess not. Yeah. Judging by the testimony thus far, the attacker of the, the identity of the attacker- the attacker of the identity. <laughs> <laughs> 
she's. I mean, Dolly Hawthorne probably stole some people's identity in the past. Oh, one hundred percent. She has ties to like the mafia that was like, I need you to take out this person. And then it's like, okay, like, your new name's Iris. <laughs> like, I feel like this, that's gonna be a running gag for the future games, which is just like, oh yeah, I'm sure Dolly like committed per or, or, perjury. I, yes. Well, obviously she did that. Like, I'm sure Dolly Hawthorne like smuggled stuff from different countries. <laughs> just, just I don't know like, about that. Just but like a, illegal activity. Like, yeah, I bet Dolly Hawthorne did. Her, her sister was connected to the police. She and she's a criminal. She absolutely was like, yo, sis. Can you, uh, hook me up with a new name? New identity? Yeah? I want to be Melissa Foster this time, yo. Yo. <laughs> We're back to calling her a gangster at this point. Sup, benches. <laughs> what happened afterwards? Someone should make- Someone should draw a picture of Dahlia with, like, the, thug the sungla sunglasses. The, yeah, fun and, life. like, but, like, maybe a cigar in her mouth. And, like, all these things. Hashtag fun Thug life, life yeah. <laughs> My attacker was in front of me, blocking off my escape, I think. Y you think? After getting hit like that, I was in a state of panic. There were only two things rolling around in my mind at the time. Well now, this is beginning to get interesting. So what were the two things rolling around in your mind? Um, my name is Maya Faye. One plus one equals two. That sounds like me. <laughs> you see, for some crazy reason, I was afraid I was going to lose my memory. I mean, we had that happen. <laughs> yeah, we did. I'm editing that episode right now. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. I know it's odd considering my life was in danger, but that's how it was. That's not odd at all. Your actions are understandable, given the circumstances. I feel like that would be, like, it's kind of like the equivalent of, like, pinch me, I'm dreaming, but, like, the, okay, my name is Maya. One plus one equals two. I'm like, ah! Like, running off. So, what did you do then? I think I screamed. Help me. <laughs> you think you screamed, but you're not sure? Listen, I was in a complete- I was a complete wreck! It was dark and I couldn't see my attacker. You think you're a wreck? Francisca's gone like 36 hours without, without sleeping. Man, she's only been on coffee. <laughs> was it a man, a woman, an adult, a child? I had no idea. I was scared out of my wits. Believe me, my dear, I'm certain I would have soiled my robes. I thought this person might attack me, so I... so I... Anyway, I'm pretty sure I screamed. I, I thought it was my last hope. Wow, it sounds like poor little Maya really was out of her mind. But I wonder what she meant by last hope. What do I do? Should I press her for more yeah. details? Yeah, I'm wondering if she was... the fact that she was like, could be a man, woman, adult, child, I'm like, I wonder if Pearl actually was able to channel once, and then she couldn't channel later because Maya mm. was like, ha ha! Okay. Wait, see, that was stupid. Maya's really emotionally and physically exhausted. I shouldn't go overboard. For the time being, I'll just play it by ear. Yeah, I haven't seen her this sad since the first game. Yeah. And she's just like, my sis died. She was kind of, <laughs> honestly, outside of case three in the first game, she was just pretty sad all around. Yeah. All right then, witness, go on with your testimony. Oh, um, okay. Actually, I f you could count the amount of cases Maya wasn't sad on one hand. Turnabout Samurai, yeah. Turnabout Big Top, yeah. Stolen Turnabout, and Recipe for Turnabout. That's it? What about what about the first cases in the for, in the second game? Oh, I forgot, about, I forgot she was in the Lost Turnabout. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah never mind. That's still one hand, though. That's still one hand. What about the... Oh, no, she was sad when she, you know, was it's accused, accused of, murder. of murder. Yeah. <laughs> Something more flashed over... Wait, we were going back! Well, we will eventually. I think it ends the test when oh. we do that, though. You, you don't mean, was it... I didn't know it at the time, but... It was totally hot chocolate. <laughs> I... I think it was probably blood. Is she saying that that's when Miss Donum, who is channeling Dahlia, was stabbed in the back by the killer? At the moment, I was paralyzed with fear. I was just sitting there in the snow. I'm sure blood got on everything around me. But her robes are not bloody. But she. Oh, that's true. But she also was wearing the acolyte clothes. She was time. wearing the acolyte clothes, and she probably had a lot of time in the sacred cavern to wash them in the freezing water. That is true. She lost consciousness. Hold it. So what happened next? I don't remember. How were you saved? You don't even remember that. No. I haven't got any idea. Um. I really don't know what happened at all! That's too bad. 
<laughs> he says with a smile on his face. <laughs> I've worked side by side with Maya for three years now. Oh, well that's too bad. <laughs> when she's hides something, I can tell by how she acts. And right now, I'm absolutely certain she's hiding something. Oh yeah. Maya, don't All forget right, which, which one should we do? What? Did she scream? Oh no! That's stupid. <laughs> so let's do that first. So you're certain that you screamed, help me? Um, I think so. Now that I think about it, yeah, that's gotta be what I screamed. Ha. Huh. Is it all that strange trait for her to have screamed, help me? No, but something about that bugs me. Why would you face someone that's trying to kill you and go through the trouble of screaming for help? Because you'd think that maybe Iris would actually be in the inner temple, but she wasn't. No, don't, no, don't know why you wasn't. put. Why are you turning this into a rap? Because I've had raps stuck in my head all day. Yeah, you know how it is. You know how it is. <laughs> all right, the witness, go on with your testimony. Oh, um, okay. My last hope. Wait a minute, Maya. What's this my last hope stuff? Um, what? What do you mean by your last hope? No, no, no. Th that's what you said. You said my last hope. Huh? What? I said what? Look, you were facing an attacker that you couldn't see and you screamed, right? You screamed, help me. Um, yeah. But you testified that you screamed that because you thought it was your last hope. Oh, well, you know, that's like, what do you call it when that happens? Maya's not doing so well up there. Oh yeah, um, I... Oh, that's right! I remember now! I was facing my attacker, but that's not who I was screaming at! What, what did you just say? Yeah, that's right. It was the person behind my attacker I was yelling at. That's why. I, that's who I was screaming to for help! <laughs> what is it now? I messed up! I didn't- I didn't mean to let that slip out! Huh? Godot's just like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> Witness, are you absolutely sure of what you're saying? Behind the attacker, there was another person? Yeah, it was Pearl with her dagger, and she was like, <laughs> I, I am. Well, I, uh, I meant to keep that part a secret. Mm, what have I done? Ha. <laughs> it takes a ton of pressure to make a diamond. That's what I always say. What? A ton of pressure? You're in a court of law here. You can't make things up to try to hide or things in this chamber. Sure. So? Witness, the information you just presented is vital to the case. Okay. I want you to add it to your testimony. Fine. I could see a man behind my attacker by the light of the stone lantern. What, did Larry jump the bridge? <laughs> Whoa! A, a man? Who is this man? The killer. Well, you see, I couldn't see. You couldn't see? She used this excuse twice now. Well, you know, lantern light isn't very bright. Your lantern was out! Lantern light, did you say? There's a great big stone lantern in the garden. And that's gonna be your <laughs> terrible mistake. They always light it when an acolyte's there for training. Hey! You know what they say. Under the lantern, darkness reigns! So I could see the person that was further away, but not my attacker who was closer. What? <laughs> that doesn't even make this sense. is just This is just basically Maya's sanity being depleted. Plus, there weren't any other light sources in the garden at the time. Hmm. And then somebody warm and Somebody warm. Somebody <laughs> warm. <laughs> That's very different. That's a very different. Alright, yeah, you saw that immediately. Wait, it but I was... want to see the profiles real quick. Who was that man? Oh, it might have been, um, Dahlia Hawthorne's father. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, it might have been Dahlia Hawthorne. She looks <laughs> like a dude. <laughs> dude looks like a lady. Dude looks like a lady. Maybe oh, Morgan shaved her head. <laughs> and then she showed up and it's like, well, it's a man. That's Doesn't true. Have long hair. <laughs> Objection, these aren't funny jokes. So there was a man standing behind your attacker? Um, yeah. That man, he's the killer. He stabbed her from behind. He's the one who killed Elise Donum. Otherwise known as Misty Faye, your mother. Maybe it was Maya's dad. The killer? Maya, 
You know who killed your mother, don't you? James Edgeworth. Um. W what is the meaning of this, Mr. Wright? To be frank, Your Honor, I think she's in shock and quite confused. Yeah. That's why she hasn't noticed the huge problem with her testimony. Huh? What do you mean? What problem? Maya. On the night of the crime, that stone lantern was out of commission. Huh? What? It's true. There was no light anywhere in the garden that night. No! Oh, I love that. Aw. I like her back, like the, por the portrait. portrait. We've seen it once before in case 2 2 when she was declared not guilty. Yeah. O order! Order in the court! Mr. Godot, explain this! <laughs> I rather drink coffee. Add the pureness of milk to the perfect clear darkness of coffee. Stir. That is the state of the witness's mind right now. A cup of cafe au lait. I wonder how they make Godot the in Cafe that. au lait? Is that even legal? I wonder how Godot is in the anime. Mr. Trite's words are the milk and you are the spoon, your honor. Uh, I'm a spoon? I'm no spoony bard, I'll have you know. You must have noticed it too, Trite. This witness's mental state is highly unstable right now. It's not hard to understand why she would make a little mistake like that. Sure, but still. Sorry, but that's not going to cut it. What did you say? If there truly was no light in the garden, then there's a fatal contradiction in this witness's last bit of testimony. Nick! May I? Recall the witness's statement about her attacker. She said that she didn't know if it was a man or a woman, an adult or a child. And yet, the witness could describe a person that was standing behind her attacker. And she quite clearly described him as a man. Ah! Uh -huh. In other words, that would have to mean that Maya actually saw our mystery person. Despite it being so dark that she couldn't even see the face of the attacker in front of her. N no! O order! 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 What in the world does this all mean, Mr. Wright? Are you saying Miss Face saw the real killer under pitch black conditions? Objection. Trite, do you have any idea what you're proposing? How could she have seen in the dark? There was no other light source at the scene. Maybe the fire was so bright that it just- What fire? <laughs> on the bridge. Oh. <laughs> on the bridge and it was so bright. There are some things that you can only see in the dark, Mr. Godot. Like glow in the dark tape. Maya, did you see who the ki You did see who the killer was in the dark. And now, you're trying to cover for him. Why? Cover? For the man that killed their mother? There's only one conclusion I can draw from this. You know who this man is. Who would it be? Wait, hold up! Who- all the men in this case? It's like, Godot? No. Edgeworth? No. Larry? Probably not, but maybe, <laughs> maybe. He, went, maybe he went psychopath. <laughs> who else would it be? It's like, Dolly Hawthorne's dad? No. He's not her even dad? a profile. <laughs> no. She wouldn't even remember her dad. It's true. Because he was, like, far away. Is it, like, her kidnapper from a game ago? It was like, mm, she had a <laughs> like, <laughs> Okay, but here's the thing. If someone played this game before, or the second right. game, they, that would come completely It would have to be someone be that she's actually, like, seen, seen. Scene, scene. Um, there wasn't any men at this place, though. It's a very woman-centered <laughs> place. It's sexist. No, it's just like I don't know. Please, Nick. I don't know anything. Please, I'm begging you. Ha! You talk a good game, trite. But let's see if you can walk the walk. It was pitch black. So what could the witness see? I'm calling your bluff. No, Nick, don't! Please, stop. If I don't stop, then you are going to die. Maya is dead set on protecting this guy. The man who murdered Maya's long-lost mother. But I can't let him get away with it. I'm a lawyer, an officer of the court. I'm here to find the truth. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at our, uh, All stuff. right, Mr. Wright, time to show us what you've got. Okay. Who was this person that you say Miss Faye saw in the dark? I don't know, but we're gonna take a look through all these gumshoe. No, he's not there. Um, so, okay, so we got Maya, Maya, Mia, Mia Pearl, Pearl Godot, Godot, Dick, Dick Gumshoe, Bikini, Elisa, 
Stonem, who is dead. Iris. Loris. <laughs> Francisca. Francisca Miles. And Dahlia. And, and Morgan. Morgan. I still think it could be Morgan who shaved her head. I don't know. I don't think that's the <laughs> correct thing. Uh, well, I mean, I want to get it wrong, so let's okay, try it. Fine. It looks like you've proven a well-known fact. The fact that people really can't see in the dark. Ugh. You're just the man I thought you were. Stupid. <laughs> you should try a nice sweet cafe au lait at least once in your life, trite. The coffee gave you the punch. But I'm sure she saw the killer in the dark. So the answer is clear. What is visible in the dark? All I can think of is that stupid quote from Avatar, like, the lovebird's brightest in the dark episode. No, it's yeah, not, it's not that. that. I know it's not that. Okay, let me look at the evidence real quick. Because I want to I want to think, does the Magatama glow in the dark? Uh, we don't know. We but don't it's know. it's glowing here it's in the glowing light. glowing there in the light? Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, in the second game, it says it glows with a mysterious aura. So okay, that would so glow. it could be someone who's wearing a Magatama. But that's it has true. to be a man that's wearing a Magatama. No man wears a Magatama. A man Gatama. <laughs> a man Gatama. A Magatama. A Magatama. A Magatama. A Magatama. What else would there be? So lantern, all this stuff. <laughs> it's a knees badge. There's the occult magazine. There's the, the hanging, hanging scroll. scroll. Who would Maya know that she would know before? She just saw a picture. Okay, who stuff. would she know from this game? Because they're assuming that people from the previous game would not necessarily know. What glows? I'm surprised you haven't gotten Fireman. it. Fireman. Larry's sketch. <laughs> it's actually glow-in-the-dark fire. <laughs> no, but Larry's painting the sketch Larry's behind the guy. Point, uh, but how would Larry have gotten back? Because while this was happening, the bridge was on fire. Did she see us? No, our profile's gone. Yeah. And, and, and we're also we, taking a dip in yeah. the lake. Well, I didn't, know, well, I didn't know if it was suddenly... Yeah. At that point, we were, like, in our bed. Who was... Who would have been there that's a guy? You really don't know. Wait, do let you? me see the burnt letter. See it. Careful, nightfall should be there. The lights out bell, yup. Her name is, she's our ally. Here's a picture when you channel, yup. Once this is, burn the, make sure. Oh, the incinerator would. <laughs> she show. saw the incinerator. No! no, but the incinerator would provide light, wouldn't it? Um. The Maybe. incinerator, it's like you close the door and you close start the door it, and so you wouldn't it. see anything. Why am I not getting this? Okay, profiles, profiles. Man who would know Maya who would be on the premises. Man. Mm -hmm. Um, next page? Man. The only thing I can think of is Larry. He would have been the only person there. But why would he go across the bridge and then be like, Well, going to bed. <laughs> and then shoot himself then out shoot of a cannon across the bridge again. <laughs> yeah, assuming there's a cannon there, which there isn't. No, but we don't even know when this happened in timing with the bridge catching on fire. Yeah, we do. We do? Bridge caught on fire, like, around the time this incident happened. Okay. So, Larry's asleep. He's not there. Edgeworth's in Germany, or wherever else wherever overseas. Morgan did not apparently shave her head and <laughs> proposes a guy. Was it Pearl? Pearl's definitely a guy. No, but maybe channeling someone. I think it's somebody channeling a guy. I think. But I'm we not sure. We do know Pearl was on the side. We know Pearl was on the side. She's not... A guy. And she wasn't channeling anyone at the time. She couldn't channel... But she wasn't channeling Dahlia. No, but who would she channel instead? This music's great, by the way. Who, who would Just Pearl... Just overused Who would game? Pearl channel? Who would Pearl know of a man? Pearl doesn't know any guys! Except I just realized, us. except for us. And, uh, um, Will Powers. Guy. And Mr. Scruffy Detective, that she calls Gumshoe. But he's not dead. Oh, and... Uh, he's not dead. I thought, she can't I thought you just said he's not gay. <laughs> he's not Which dead. is true. He's not you gay. You can only channel gay men, <laughs> Pearl. No, that would not work. Um, Does Sister Bikini have the power to channel? We don't know. We don't know. Okay. She does is part of a branch family. Of a branch family. Mm -hmm. 
she probably has the power then if she owns this temple. But she but was she would, there. She already hobbled back though. Yeah, with her back. exactly. So she wasn't there. Okay. You're really not getting this. I'm already. really not getting this, which is stupid. <laughs> I think. Is it seriously stupidly Larry? <laughs> is it seriously stupidly Larry? Take that. No. No, it's no, not. No, it's Mr. not. Right. Okay. Fine. I don't. Godot wouldn't have been there, nor would Detective Gumshoe, nor would Edgeworth. So it's somebody channeling. So you want to go Pearl then? Sure. Because we know she was there. It's Pearl. Take that. No! <laughs> Who is this person? You seriously don't know? Is it... Okay. Do I present a profile or do I present You evidence? present a profile. Who's the person? You present a profile. We don't have our profile. It's not it's Gum. It's not us! It's not Gumshoe, it's not Godot, and it's not Edgeworth. Next page. And it's not Larry. We already presented Larry. There's you can edit this out later, but seriously! I don't understand! Wow, I can't. Did I spit on Dahlia? Sorry. No. That you deserve it, Dahlia! <laughs> Honestly, if you had to spit on one person's profile, I'd want it to be Dahlia's. <laughs> Or Morgan's. This is annoying me now because all these people are females. Not all of them. I mean, Go Godot person? called Gumshoe a beautiful lady earlier. Beautiful girl. Beautiful <laughs> dreamer. I okay. Apparently, I don't know this, which is you stupid. Don't? No. Apparently, Give up. I guess so. It's not Godot! He wasn't there! That makes no sense! How do you know he wasn't there? Because, why would he be? There would be literally no reason for him to be- Oh, I guess I'm gonna go You were my... thinking about it wrong. Here. You're about... I guess I'm gonna get my coffee on the side of the mountain where this murder's taking place. How would that make any sense? Because it was pitch black, Miss Faye was able to recognize the killer easily. I'm sure the court would like to see for itself how this is possible, yes? What? But but how do you propose to show us something like that? Wait. It's easy. We just need to recreate the conditions of that night. C conditions? Your Honor, the defense officially requests that all of the lights in this courtroom be turned off. Really? Oh, it's because of his stupid night vision goggles. What? This is. But it can't be. Ha. Huh. This is stupid. Here's night vision goggles. That was a nice bit of deduction. Trite. Okay, turn back on the lights before he murders someone. We even got an allusion to that in case three of this. Okay. Where the lights went out and we saw him glowing. We didn't see him glowing. Yeah. I didn't see him glowing. Yeah, when Yo Ziggy Yo roared so loud that the white lights went off, we saw his laser glow. I didn't see his laser glow. Okay. But why would he be there? Also, We're gonna find that out! Also, Don't call I it would, stupid! I would never pick him because I would assume that the defense, or not the defense, the attorneys would not be there. I will say the only reason you can deduce it's Godot really is process of elimination. Yeah, because quite literally. Ev because every other guy was on the other side of the bridge. That's why I was like, he wasn't on that side of the bridge. He wasn't on the other side though. We didn't even see him until the bridge was repaired. Yeah, I thought he was like in town. Yeah, that's what we thought. Okay, that's... Uh, yeah, that's... It never said... Godot, we, or Gumshoe even said, like, yeah, we wanted it to be Godot, but we can't get a hold of him. Ugh. I just thought he was, like, living it up overseas. <laughs> yeah, well, he was At wasn't. the beach! Well, the fact is, he wasn't, Woody. Okay, fine. Well, everyone, this is the man Maya saw on the night of the murder. I'm sick of the whole, like... Guess who the... Also... <laughs> I just realized... Why would Godot be like, we need to finish this murder trial if he knows he could still be caught? Maybe he wants to be caught. That'd be, that would be weird. Order, but... order, order. Prosecutor Godot, what is the meaning of this? Hey, Godot, with your coffee. Surely you must be shocked to hear yourself accused of such a thing. Why aren't you denying it? Ha. <laughs> yes, I'm. Your Honor, you're asking the wrong person. Wh what do you mean by that? If you've got a question, ask the witness. That's one of my rules. Well, Maya, how about it? What you saw that night, 
Was it free glowing red lights? Well, witness, answer the question. It... You're wrong! I... I never saw that! But Maya! I thought the person that stabbed my mother was a man for a totally different reason! What? What? Witness, Mr. Wright, what the? Stop your chattering, Your Honor. <sighs> Ch -ch chattering? If it's worth asking, ask the witness. That's one of my rules. All right. Uh huh. Well then, let's continue with the testimony. Please tell us how you knew the killer was a man. Yes, Your Honor. I didn't realize it until after I woke up, but. I think you are the- you definitely have had the most unique reaction to learning good toys. Most people are like, oh, what? It was him? And you're just like, that's stupid. <laughs> Literally! Like, I'm sick of them being like, oh, I think the prosecution might have murdered somebody! Like, but this is only the second time they've done that. The only other time was Manfred Von Karma. Yeah, but Von Karma, I was like, I hope he's a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so grumpy. I smoke 20 packs a day. 20 packs? I feel like you'd die if you did that. <laughs> No, but you know, it's like... I think it's weird that he's the dude who's, like, totally the normal guy. Mia... <laughs> no, no. Hey, <laughs> no. He's the guy who's hanging out with Mia, helping her with the trial. He almost dies from this crazy poison girl. And then he's reliving, and then he's like, you know what I think I should do? I think I should murder somebody. <laughs> also, where would he have been on the island? Would he have been, like... Okay. Hiding in the waters, coming out like a zombie? Or okay. was he like- What you're- What you are asking, all of this is going to get answered. I'm sure, I'm just like, this is- So don't call it stupid until you've at least learned. Because don't assume it's just like, they're not going to explain anything, it's gonna- <laughs> Okay, it's closed. <laughs> Fine. Going to explain it. Fine. The killer.